Our next guest is a keynote speaker with over 30 years of public speaking experience. His name is Brian Elementi. Brian works with groups to help them elevate themselves and their teams. He is joining us today to tell us how leading with kindness can help us strengthen our relationships. Welcome to the show, Brian. Well, thank you both. Appreciate it. So we're, your, your message is leading with positivity. And I, I, it, particularly in the world that we're in right now, this feels like a very, very hard thing to do, or at least that a lot of people aren't leading with positivity. Well, I hope it's not too hard. It's not hard for me, but yes, it is a challenge sometimes. Not every day is uh, unicorns and, and rainbows. So one of the things I preach is a bedrock saying that was told to me when I was a kid, that we get old too quick and smart too late. I'm just trying to get smarter, quicker, and go around the country and help teams and help uh, companies see the light and uh, lead with positivity. And a couple of things, leading every day with positivity and leading your teams with positivity. What does that look like? What, what does the day look like? What does the goals look like? And helping them with a positive attitude. I, I, I think um, I, speaking for a lot of the audience right now, they may not be living in a, in a corporate world. Um, and so they're, they're thinking, uh, well, how can I live? You start talking about leadership and I, I automatically go to business, but, but we're talking leadership at church, your church group, right. or, or just with your neighbors or, or, or people in your own family, actually. Right. Yes. right. Lead by example. Exemplify how you think things should be happening in a positive light. You know, we're here for such a short amount of time. Like I said, old too quick, smart too late. <laughs> Trying to get smarter quicker yeah. each and every day. We all have people that are gone too quick. So I'm trying to lead by example with my family in the corporate world and so on. That's a great reminder. I, I would consider myself a fairly positive person, but I think you know you can get into funks or seasons of life and right. that you need some of those reminders. So one thing I've been doing is changing my mindset from have to to get, get to, to. Yeah. I, and to, I don't right. have to go to work. I get to go to work, you know, and things like that can make a world of a difference in your mindset and day-to-day -day life. It can. I say a mind shift. Yes. Yeah, that little bit of a mind shift. And when you get that stinking thinking in yeah. one ear, out the <laughs> other. Like Hopefully it goes quick. And it's an honor. Sometimes you say, well, I'm busy, I'm busy. Well, it's a blessing. It's an honor to be busy. Yes. We're so fortunate. A lot of people would like to be busy and be in our situation. Mm -hmm. So always having that mind shift, that perspective is one of the P's I talk about. Yes. So and tell us, yeah, tell us about those, those three P's. The three P's. Perspective is one. And talking about, hey, we're honored to do what we can do each and every day. There's a lot of people that aren't around with anymore that would love to be in our situation. The second P is positivity. Leading with positivity, we just talked about. And having that third P, which is perspective. Walking a mile in somebody's shoes. Making sure that you're aware of your situation, taking stock of what you have, but also being perspective, having that perspective of others too. I, I like you've got another one. I like you make these very easy to remember, yeah. the three P's and the three G's. Tell us about the three G's. They have to be easy to remember. Yeah. I'll forget them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the three G's, gratitude. So today's Thursday. Years ago, I come up with thank you Thursday. So oh, I remember, yes. okay, a Thursday's a nice reminder to go out and thank somebody. There's three words that people love to hear, their own word, their own, uh, own name, right? Oh, that your ears is perk true. Up. And they also like to hear thank and you, those other two words. So gratitude is the, the first G. Second G is generosity. Not everybody has a ton of dough, but we can give back with time, mm -hmm. with energy, a smile. I believe in the smile science. If I smile, you just smile. Look at that. Just like a yawn. We're yawning. Inevitably, you want to yawn. When you Boy, smile, it is you tough to get people to smile sometimes, too, and um, it does make a difference when you... I, well, my biggest problem with that is, like, most of us have our, our faces and our phones yes. the whole time, and nobody's, nobody's looking up to even get that eye contact right. to engage them. So right. The smile. I, I think that, or just, like, I say, have a resting smile face. <laughs> like, you just have to <laughs> carry a smile with you. Yes, it's better than the other resting <laughs> yes, face that yes. we, we can reference. But, yeah, yeah. yeah that's... And then the last of your Gs is great. It is grace. And cutting yourself a little bit of slack. Yeah. Life isn't easy. Life is tough. We've got the ups and the downs, the ebbs and the flows of life each and every day. So being mindful of cutting yourself a little bit of slack, but also cutting others a little bit of slack. I truly believe at the core, we all are trying to be the best person we can be. And cutting others a little bit of slack is going to take the anxiety and the pressure off of you. Cutting yourself a little bit of slack is going to do the same too. How did you get into the public speaking space? I've been doing this my whole life. <laughs> third grade, Mrs. Peplin Jack's class. Well, I, I was going to say, I, we, said, we said you've been doing this for 30 years, and I'm doing the math, and we're probably, I think you're even younger than I am, so I was like, well, yeah, you must have got going real young. Real young, but even high school, 
uh, college. I was very fortunate to be asked to do various speeches and so on and so forth. And I just carried that through my professional life and professionally been doing it as a master trainer and a training manager and up in front of people helping others. And this is what I was born to do. Everybody has a passion. Yes. And if you can use that passion, which is another P, use that passion to help yourself out, help others out. Life is too short. Make it worthwhile. I, and I just love your underlying message of kindness. You yes. know, and my grandma always says you get more bees with honey. And so sometimes even if I'm trying to, if I'm mad at customer service for something, I'll just take a deep breath. And most chances they're going to respond so much better, you know, if, if you're just happy or kind, you know, yes. even in most cases in life. I agree, I agree wholeheartedly. Yeah. Well, Brian, thanks so much for stopping yes. by today. Nice, to, nice to meet you. And you folks at home can't see, but his family is here yes. too, and they're all taking videos. So you, <laughs> your, your dad did a great job. So thanks, Brian. Thank you so uh, much. We'll post a link to Brian's website for you on minnesotalive.com.